What is up guys? As you can see, we're back with another Honor of Kings video today. And you can see on the screen right now, if you look at the numbers on each team, this is a very, very high rank game. Um, this is of course the solo queue only mode in Honor of Kings and we are spectating today uh, the best or one of the best um, paintbrush girl uh, players, Shangwan Waner is our Chinese name. Um, I hope I didn't butcher that as much as I usually do. Anyway, you can see um, this hero I'm very excited about. If you guys didn't know, I played this hero a lot in the in Honor of Kings um, when I was still playing it. And um, yeah, I have around 200 games, I think, on her. So she is really fun. You will see very quickly. Um, if you guys don't know her abilities, you should check out one of my old videos. I explained her abilities um, in a lot of them. Uh, they're very complicated, so it will take like 5 to 10 minutes. So I can't do it this game. But um, because this game, we're just going to be focused on the high rank gameplay of this player. And um, yeah, and if you guys didn't know, this hero is already confirmed on the Arena Valor test server. We will be getting it um, not very soon. It is not done yet. They, don't, they didn't put in the graphics yet and stuff for her. But they are working on her. So I think in around six to eight months, we should be getting her um, on our official servers. So... As I said, you will quickly notice this is a very, very exciting hero to play. Um, mid lane, mage, assassin, can also poke. You can see she has a skill shot with two charges on her S2, skill shot with one charge on her S1. And uh, it's basically her bread and butter poke. But the interesting thing you will see is her ult. And it makes her jump five times. And if she pulls off the combo, she um, turns invulnerable and does so much damage. So you will just see it's very, very interesting gameplay. Right now, not much happening. Um, the enemy, I mean, their Birdman jungler, which can go over walls, took the enemy blue buff, so she was able to took hers. Uh, very, very fortunate for her already. She already got the buff. Now she is killing this minion wave, so she gets her level four, and she instantly um, is looking for an ult opportunity. There she gets it, gets one, gets both kills. Beautifully played. Now you saw, he instead of just trying to join the fight, S2, S1 to poke, he instantly realized if I kill these three minions, I will get my level four and I'll be able to completely destroy this team fight. He beautifully executes the combo, which is by the way, really hard. And uh, yeah, very well played there. Now, of course, they're just gonna invade the enemy blue buff um, that just respawned. The, the jungler gives him the blue buff again. Very nice of him. This Now this paintbrush girl is already so fed, two blue buffs. Um, one whole bot wave and two kills absolutely crazy and he just keeps diving again and it seems like he'll get both kills beautifully played by that lumber as well flickering in there he ends up dying for it because he didn't retreat instantly he kept auto attacking the tower a little bit of a misplay but the ult flicker beautifully played gets another two kills and again this is these enemies are not noobs they're just getting outplayed by these two uh, by this support and mid lane duo. I think he can go in here, yeah. This is a little bit of a misplay by the Ryoma. Yeah, Ryoma seems to be tilted, um, goes way too deep there, disrespects her ult. Now, if you didn't know, um, her ult also heals her whenever she dashes, so uh, yeah. Absolutely crazy. Let's see, the, the, the jungler is pinging him again, again gives him the blue buff, crazy. I guess, so I have to say this this guy is very famous for his um, paintbrush girl. So I guess he's like, listen man, just <laughs> I'll just give him blue buff and we will win. I guess, I guess that's what the jungler is thinking. He goes in again, and this is a very aggressive ult, but oof, he might get punished for it. But his jungler follows up really well, and they still get the kill. He overextended there, he tried to just poke the Raz, he knew he can't kill him. But it's oftentimes worth to just poke, because it is a low, low cooldown ability. It's like a 30 second cooldown with blue buff, it's like 20, 24 seconds, maybe something like that. And uh, yeah, you can see here, 20 seconds already, it's, it's a very low cooldown. So it is, oftentimes in pro play, they just poke with her. Uh, you just dash in and you're invulnerable, you just poke and you just run out. And um, yeah. Here he's gonna probably... No, he's just gonna go back to his mid lane. Uh, he's pinging miss for some reason. 
He's spamming his ability for no reason. It doesn't do anything. There's no charges or anything. If you were wondering that, why he's just using them on the ground like that. Here he's waiting. Oh, also, she has a... Um, every third auto attack does bonus damage and pierces through the enemies. So you have to keep in mind to use that as well. Um, here you can see he's just going to cancel his ult. Uh, the, lo the less dashes you do, the less cooldown it will have. So that's why he realized he can't kill anyone, so he's just going to cancel his ult for a lower cooldown. He's eyeing this blue buff. He really wants to get this blue buff, but it is being invaded and his jungler is doing the dragon, so he can't really go in here. But the enemy support overextended and yeah, they just end up getting a really quick kill. Um, yeah, the, the enemy support, they took blue buff. That was the correct play, but they should have just gone left the, the blue buff from the top instead of going that way. That was a, a little bit confusing. Uh, seems like the Ryoma is having a hard time again, getting invaded in his jungle again. The blue buff is up. I assume he will clear this wave and make his way over to the blue buff and the jungler will give it over to him again. Unless this Ryoma steals it. He tries to steal it. The jungler has to take it in the end. Unfortunate for him, he's at half mana. He really would like to have that blue buff, especially for the lower cooldown and ult. As I was saying, especially for the ult, um, the ult has such a low cooldown in this game that uh, you can, if you have the blue buff and if you have some like 10% from cooldown from items, you can actually do your ult. If you engage a team fight with your ult, you can do it again um, at the end of the team fight. So. Like, there's often team fights where you just end up using your ult twice with this hero, and it's absolutely crazy. Like, it's similar to... I don't know, a lot of heroes can use their ult twice in one team fight, right? And this is one of them as well. And you can imagine how how crazy um, you can carry a team fight with the second ult, when everyone is already low, and when you're low and you will heal with the ult, stuff like that. Here he's just gonna probably... The Raz is trying to take this. Ooh, he's just gonna kill the Raz now. Yeah, this is a very simple kill. The Raz can't really do anything here. No um, cover from the bush, no nothing. You can hide from this ult in a bush. If she doesn't have vision of you, the, the um, ink is not gonna shoot at you. But yeah, not much, not much that Raz could do there. She was completely exposed, used her ult, used everything. No mobility left. And um, yeah, simple kill there. Just gonna clear the wave. Um, the enemy blue just respawned. If you were paying attention to the minimap, they are for sure gonna try. They're not trying. I guess they think Ryuma already did it, which is probably true. They just end up trying to trap topside, but they don't get anything out of it. I, I, I'm thinking they should have gone for the blue buff. I am thinking that that would have been worth three people top, uh, one person pushing bot. That he just has to wait for that mid, mid lane wave. If you look at the allied mid lane wave, you see that it's coming soon. He has to just wait for it. He decides to not clear it and just try to maybe join the bottom fight. Mm, but he decides he has to clear it. He almost went in on them. As you saw there, he was pulling his ult already. So is he going to go in on this? No, he's not. His team, is, his team is cleaning up, they're killing one, they might get a second kill. He's just zoning the mid lane and support of this uh, mid lane wave. Oof, look at this damage, yeah. This is, this is what happens when this hero gets fed, just look at this damage. The dashes do damage as well, so it's, it really... Ooh, he almost kills him as well. The dashes do damage as well, right? So it is really... There's a huge difference between a uh, paintbrush girl who just jumps in and then shoots people with the ink of the ult and a, a paintbrush girl who actually hits the dash onto the enemies. It is so much AoE damage in a team fight. It's absolutely crazy. Now they, they their jungler is really strong at taking um, early slayers. So that is really simple to get there after the mid laner is dead and the mid lane wave is pushed out and everything. The enemies can't really walk there and contest it. He gets the blue buff, um, almost gets stolen by the jungler there, by the uh, damage over time there that uh, he has he's just trying to catch people off guard again as soon as he catches one person alone um yeah they just die she's also really good with elsu and they have an elsu in their team 
as I was saying, she's really good with Elsu because he can provide vision to her and she can catch off person uh, people alone. So um, that is a pretty good combo there. Also, he can if he hits a snipe, the enemy is already at like 70% uh, health, and then she can pretty much one shot anybody. Because this hero used to be able to one shot from full most squishies, but she got nerfed, and now it's getting harder. So um, it's really nice to have some poke that can just set you up for the 100% confirmed uh, one shot. Also something to keep in mind with this hero is uh, you can actually, the, the ink is not shot randomly, you can steer it by using the avatar lock. Uh, that's pretty hard, um, you have to practice that a little bit. Um, but if you are an ADC player or something like that, it's very easy for you because you already know how to use that. But I had to learn it here. He extends his ult with flicker beautifully. And um, yeah, just the Raz ends up dying as well. Beautifully played there. Not much else to expect there from this guy. I mean, I was a pretty simple team fight to play too. He just had to go in. 13-0-0, beautiful score there. Not a single assist. Um, is he gonna dive that? The Pangu is pretty, the Pangu is the golden guy. He is pretty tanky, so I'm not sure. Oh, never mind. He's not tanky at all, mate. He is not. Look, look at this. I thought he's tanky, but I guess not, guys. I guess not. I mean, he completed the uh, um, staff of Nul, so I guess that was that was why. I'm pretty sure he completed it. If I saw that correctly in his inventory, but yeah. That guy just absolutely melted. I mean, I think people will complain a lot about this hero in Arena of Valor. As soon as some people learn how to play it, it's just gonna be so annoying to deal with. Um, people complained a lot about her in Honor of Kings as well. So they ended up nerfing her, but she was OP. So now she's a little bit more in line, but she still gets banned often because if you're as good as this guy, you will just still outplay everybody. Because you have too much mobility, as you can see here. He's, he's gonna die here for sure, yeah. He went a little bit too deep, but it was still worth because he did so much damage. His team can just follow up and kill everybody. The Hayate can't really carry that either. Now they can just end because five people are red. So ultimately he died, he lost his uh, win, uh, kill streak, but it was worth because he just, yeah. He, he ended the game by uh, suiciding in there and killing everybody. He's showing the items. I mean, if you play Honor of Kings... Uh, that is useful for you, but other than that, very interesting that the Elsu went rank breaker into the Fenrir and only then built the Fafnir. As you can see again, really really high rank, you can see the damage, actually he's not going to show the damage I think. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, gameplay, um, I am very, I'm really looking forward to this hero in Arena of Valor, as I said. It should be coming, not really soon, but in like half a year. I hope we should get it. Um, at least until then we will get a Landor, which will be a really fun, really high skill cap hero as well to play. So that should keep us busy until she is released. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out boys. Bye bye.